This is CoinOps for the PC, initially made for the Xbox. This Windows-based front end is a lot like um, Hyperspin or LaunchBox, but this pre-setup image, which does come with ROMs, um, is packing a lot. Everything from NES Atari to a huge arcade set to Wii, GameCube, PS2, Doom 2, Street Fighter 4, among some other systems. So this is going from the 1970s all the way to late 2000s. And um, what we're gonna do in this video is just show you the file, the file size. It comes pre-set up on your computer. You just launch it. It has a bunch of scripts, so you don't have to learn code or anything. If you have an Xbox 360 contr style controller or any controller, that matter, it's gonna work just fine. And uh, if you have a fast enough computer, you can run all these games with no lag whatsoever. A lot of that's gonna come down to your hardware, but it's set up for, for anything. And uh, there's just a lot going on here, but these builds are kind of this all-in-one Pandora's box slash hyperspin builds that you see all over the internet. So let's go ahead and check out CoinOps and what it's all about. Left and right is what's gonna take you between the menus here. So you got arcades, you got all your consoles, Super Nintendo, you got computer classics, Dreamcast, you got some portable Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance. Nintendo GameCube, this is running Dolphin, so you'll be able to play GameCube and Wii games. Nintendo Game & Watch, Nintendo 64, NES. The thing about this is not a full, it's not gonna give you every single game. You're gonna wanna download those add-on packs to get the full games, or just add the games that you want to it. PC Engine, PlayStation, PS2, PSP. I have to say, putting the Xbox 360 controller directly in here uh, was really easy. PSP, this is just running your PP, SS, e standard emulator you can easily upscale it depending on your computer and how much you know it can hold but my computer played ps2 we gamecube just fine doom 2 street fighter 4 this is gonna you know require a lot of uh, processing speed i can tell my computer was you know the fan kicked on when i was playing street fighter and then back to arcades over here um other things to know in settings here a lot of the scripts are already set up for you so if you want to turn off your bezels or your scan lines, click of a button there. Um, turn off. You can hit escape on your controller as well. That'll also turn it off. And yeah, I mean, overall, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's very cool. The FAQs here are really good. Um, as you see, there's system requirements. I mean, obviously the fa i5, i7, you're gonna be able to play some better games. A dedicated graphics card is gonna help a lot. Um, they do have a Discord channel. Any controller, but Xbox 360, Xbox One is standard. So you're gonna have the least bit of issues with that. Um, you'll need to run the default controls unlock if you want to start changing your default controls. Um, there is a YouTube video on how to set up a PS3 controller if you're not running an Xbox controller. Uh, a little bit of help on the light gun. Some of the hot keys you're going to want to know. Launch game, random game, letter up, letter down, change game, change system, favorites. Um, some ways to make it perform a little bit better if you turn off some of those bezels. Um, okay, I'll enter. That's good. See, I, I didn't get it into full screen. Um, and I agree, my computer also had a virus error, so I can attest to this, that you will get a virus, like, hey, this file doesn't look right, but all enter is gonna get us into full screen. Here are the different bezels and what they do, for those of you that wanna kinda play around with that to get a full arcade feel. This is gonna look really good on the arcade, if you wanna mess with that. And then some advanced main video effects options to play around with. So what he's saying here is these are all in the advanced. You, these are this is what they're talking about is these files right here. All you do is you double click them and then they they are now um, have registered. You've turned them on. And remember, you can always turn those off really easily by just going to Coin Ops, going to your options, and changing back the default selections. Here's all our games: Doom 2, Ultra Fighter 2, Wii games. Got a few Wii games in there as well. Um, Sega CD, gonna see a lot more, I'm sure. Oh, just Sonic still. <laughs> um, Sega Saturn, just Street Fighter Zero. 
So my understanding is, you know, people are turning this into like one terabyte, five terabyte builds, and you're starting with this, and then you can just add all the ROMs. So the same thing with like PSP. These ROMs are big, so you can add your own. Thomas Wave, nice. Got about seven games there. PS3. That's not going to run too well, but you can do it if you want. PS2. There are some PS2. God of War. Tekken 5. PS1. Quite a bit of games. Oh, well, some a lot of these are tracks. Oh, there's only probably about a dozen games there. PC Engine CD-ROM. About three. PC Engine. About seven. NES. 45. I'm surprised. The, I guess these are just base packs, and you gotta you gotta download the additional ROM packs afterwards. MSX. But it's cool that they pick good games to start with. Laserdisc. Okay, nothing there. Main Intellivision. One. Game and Watch. That probably has all the same. GameCube. Nice, nice little GameCube. Tony Hawk Three. Good game and the Zelda games. That's nice to see. Okay, I'm gonna skip the portables, but you know I know there's you know 50 to 100. They're gonna have your Pokemon games, things like that. But I'm sure you guys want to see. So let's go in there really quick. No, oh, just a few games. Those are all really good games. Other ones that they put in there. Pokemon. Yep. So less Game Boy Advance games in this one than in the light version. Interesting. Dreamcast. You can add some more computer classics. Nothing in there. Commodore 64, just a few. Coleco, one. Smurf, 7800, one. 5200, one. 2600, one. <laughs> Amstrad CPC, one. Amiga, none. 32X, three. Knuckles Chaotic, 3DO. Road Rash, nice. And then we have uh, Super Nintendo, 100. Genesis, about 126. Arcade Favorites. And... Wow, so, oh, there's a bunch of uh, the other collections in here as well. But um, if you highlight all this, it's about 900, almost 865. All right, um, Xbox 360 controllers are good to start on this. So the download itself will be zipped up, but when you unraw it, you should be left with about 180 gigabytes. And like I mentioned earlier, you there's a bunch of packs. So there's like a Wii pack and a Nintendo pack. So if you want the entire Nintendo collection, the entire Super Nintendo collection, all you got to do is copy and paste that over. And so that's how you can turn this into like a three terabyte coin ops build with just copying and pasting so it's very very simple to set up and just to highlight those features again it's very beautiful and those scan lines and controller configurations all that stuff is already set up as well as all the emulators are installed for you where if you started this from scratch you'd have to go get ppsp go get dolphin go get snes 9x and all these other uh emulators but that's all set up for you so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, play some games Brand game. So you can see there, launch dolphin in the background. So if you need to change your controls at any time, you can hit, you know, go to the dolphin settings.
will fight. The answer. Are you ready? Fight! Don't go 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 fight! I do not want to go through that whole cutscene. Final thoughts are, 
amazing. If you're just looking for a drag and drop emulator front end, this is the way to go. I do a lot of Raspberry Pi 4 videos and single board computers. They're a little more fun and tinkery and they're small and there's all sorts of aftermarket parts for it. But if you just want down and dirty emulation, just slap this on your computer and call it a day. A lot of people are buying like old refurbished Dells and things and adding a dedicated graphics card to it. And absolutely, that would run the majority of this stuff just fine. But if you have like a laptop computer or something like that, just put this all on an external hard drive. And when you're on a game, just plug it up and you're good to go. You have quite a few options here. But overall, CoinOps is pretty darn cool. It's just like Hyperspin, but a little different. And it uh, gives you another option out there. I'm pleasantly surprised at how easy, simple, and good it runs. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.